everyone, just want to make a quick video as to why I tweeted out that I'm officially over Flexbox and I'm going to CSS grid all the things. All right. Now, um, I'm going to recreate uh, a layout that I'm doing for a client site, but I'm not going to use their assets because um, I don't think I have acts or I don't think I have um, permission to show what I'm building. But anyways, there's a layout that's like super simple where it's like you have a photo on the left, content on the right, and then the next section down, it's flipped. And with Flexbox, this was easy, but then it just got harder and harder uh, because you would have to create every little thing in a flex table or, or something like that. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so we're here on my screen and um, all I have is a section with some margin. Or actually, let me delete that. All right, so you have a section right here with a padding on the top and bottom 150 and you have a container. All right, so say I have an image on the left, right? And I want image on the left and then um, content on the right. So one would think, okay, make a flex, make a flex box right here, set it to flex. And then next thing you know, you can add a div block here and then go ahead and expand that, copy and paste. Cool, you have two columns, all right? And now if I wanna add an image to this one, cool, you can. And then if I wanna add content to this side, cool, you can. But um, what if this filled up the whole thing, right? You want that 100%, right? Well, now on this side, I have to add like um, right side padding so I can just make sure that there's some sort of gap, right? And then, um, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and go to the next section. Now here, flex is really cool because you can just go like this and say, all right, I want to flip it. But if I flip this with the direction of reverse, if I flip it, I'm flipping both. But I don't want to flip both. So I have to undo that and give this one a subclass called I don't know flipped and that way I can flip this one and not that one and then oh here this div block too I have to remove that and then go here and add a go here and add a right side padding okay cool all right so that's cool and all but look how long it took me to to do that and then for responsive I have to go here to flex and then I have to say, okay, this one is now vertical. Okay, oops. Yeah, this one is this one is now vertical. How come it's not going vertical? Oh, okay, my bad. Let me go back here. See, I'm already confused. Oh, because I'm using combo class. So, let me go here. Sorry, I'm going. I'm getting confused. <laughs> All right, so this flex right here is going to be vertical. Cool, and that's what I want. And this should, and then here for the right side padding, now I have to zero this out and then push this down. Okay. And then here with this flex, and maybe I'm doing this wrong. Someone tell me, but here it's a combo class and I have to that, and then I have to unflip it. And then, yeah. And then for this one, I have to, okay. This one is not really right, right side, or sorry, this one doesn't have doesn't need the margin bottom this this one needs it and so I have to make another one top padding and and or margin to be like zero that out and then push this away like that took too long now let's redo this whole layout these two layouts in grid all right so I'm gonna delete both both elements or both sections I'm gonna have that section and then 150 and then container and now we're going to grid it and so we don't need two rows i can just delete one row right there all right so we have that grid and then i'm going to put in an image and then make sure that image is like let's just make this 100 percent and look there's already a gap and i don't have to 
create another class just to just to add a bigger gap. I can just go like this. Cool, done. And then let's add in the rich text. And because of auto flow, it just goes like that. Cool. And we're done. And let me go to the next section. So right here, we have this section. And do I want to do I have to flip it? Um, not necessarily. All I have to do is there you go, because of auto flow. Now that's done. Now let's go look into responsiveness. Go to go to tablet and uh oh, this needs to be vertical. We don't have a vertical option in grid, but I can delete one of the columns. Now it's vertical. See, look at that. And because of auto flow, we're good. And if and there's already that gap. And if I want to make that gap bigger, I can just go like this. Now let's go look at my other section. How did that do? Okay, so this one, it has to flip. So what I can do is this one, I can say flipped and edit grid. Can I reverse? Is there any way to reverse? It would be cool if there's a, oh, wait. I can go to text block and I can say this one right here. I can say rich text element flipped. I don't know, call it whatever. Uh, and I'll say this is last. Oh, wait, you don't even need a... Because it's purple. Yeah, because it's purple, meaning grid, you don't even need to add a class name to that. So I just set that as last without even a class name. So you don't, ha you don't have the class name all the things. Grid handles everything for you. So look at that, how much faster that was. And you don't have to create every single column and row and, and flip and the, the padding in them. Ah, yeah. All right. And one more thing. Where can you use grid? What's the browser support? All of them, except for Opera Mini and IE 11. And Q, Q, I do. Even KaiOS browser. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. So. There you go. I'm gridding all the things. I don't know if you're going to, but that's just me. Uh, Flexbox, Webflow, Flexbox um, update. Let's see. When did... Uh, we did it sometime in 2017? Something like that. Or even before then. So, yeah, it's been about two years or so with Flexbox. I think it's time to go. Grid is the new thing, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah, quick video. Grid all the things, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.